The news of the desecration spread throughout the Hawaiian Islands. Soon after, an overnight vigil was held at the state capital on the island of Oahu. I arrived early in the day. When I got there, there were less than 100 people. But each hour on the hour, more and more Hawaiians came. When work ended, hundreds of Hawaiians came. The drum beat every hour, we prayed every hour, and we prayed that the Okua would awaken in the hearts and minds of the legislature and understanding that the desecration had to stop. This event reached the hearts of many, Hawaiians old and young, to take his stand. At that time, the Hawaii state government had no formal process or Hawaiian burial laws when dealing with desecration. Hawaiian governor John Wahee had some decisions to make. But the problem was that they kept finding bodies. And you know, in a few days it's like 10, the next day it's like 20, and then, you know, we started heading up. And at some point, this whole thing became ridiculous. You, you can't, ha I mean, what do you do? You can't have that. You, you, and, and in the course of all of this, you know, discovering that this is a very important place. The governor walked across the street at 11.30 and took us upstairs, six of us upstairs, and started crying about how how the situation is but you know i understand his emotion we went through that emotion too you know so he was late and he's crying you know we did we did ours and it was emotional so i'm glad that he was a hawaiian governor at that time i don't know how any other governor would have reacted uh so i can at least say that he did the right thing and i get respect for him for that from one hawaiian to another hawaiian that he stopped it he said, you know, as of right now, it's over. But more important, it underscored the uh, need to deal with this issue in a kind of um, straightforward way. And so we passed this uh, legislation to create the burial councils, which were established to, um, uh, you know, work with or with all the new development. I quit the Barrel Council uh, the first year they had one, they put me on it. And I quit because the guys who made the rules were just as bad without even have rules. Because they appoint people on these commissions that were very strong Christian Hawaiians and Christians dig up a lot of things and move them. So you weren't gonna get the respect from the Barrel Council with these kind of people that's having the say so. And two of them on the Barrow Council are non Hawaiians. I mean, what? Does any race call some foreign race to talk about their race's burials? But you could in Hawaii. And you know, the barrels we're talking about is not Western contact or the church is responsible. No, these were traditional before Western man came around. So there's a different treatment and a different respect for that. It was up to us to deepen ourselves, to dig out the Hawaiian-ness of what that was, to stop the development and protect them. It had to take the whole moral inside to come out 